in Europe, especially in Eastern Europe, in India and, of course, in Japan, these cars are very popular and are a familiar element of street traffic. In Russia, Suzuki Swift, despite its bright appearance and good driving characteristics, somehow fell out of favor. The baby turned out to be too expensive to be massively purchased by delivery services and too poorly adapted for the role of the only family car. But he also has his own audience, let's try to understand its motivation. Hate number five, size and gender. B-segment cars are considered female in Russia. That's a significant part of the reviews about the baby Suzuki Swift written by representatives of the beautiful half of humanity. Indeed, Swift is small, and Russia is a big country, so many reviews emphasize that this model is best suited for the role of the second car in the family, and for the only car it is better to choose something bigger. This is often how it goes, I never considered Suzuki and Swift cars in particular as an option to buy. But then one day my wife had a certain amount, and she wanted a small lighter with which she could overcome the roads to the clinic and shops with our little son. I don't know where, but my wife immediately became interested in the Suzuki Swift, as soon as she ran through the cars at a price of 300 to 400,000, it was in 2016. I didn't care, as long as I went, and she really liked him. The car was bought for my wife, so the main requirements were miniature, automatic, good looks and safety. And Swift fully complies with all these requirements, and the reputation of an ideal workhorse for girls and mothers has been fixed behind it. Well, what if you are not a girl, and not a mother at all, but Swift still likes it? And there are enough such males, who quite consciously opted for this model. But it seems that they had to withstand a fair amount of moral pressure from acquaintances and neighbors in the garages, a car with an aggressive body design and wheels widely spaced at the corners evoked associations with a small armored car. The black A pillars alone are worth something. Therefore, when the question arose of purchasing a new car, I did not think for a long time. I don't have complexes about the size of the car, but I also like it when I don't like everyone else. And the arguments of my friends, who are 95% the owners of really familiar and boring Ford Focus, about the femininity of the entire B class did not convince me. And the internet is full of stories about how the head of the family bought Swift for his wife, then once or twice he took it as a substitute, rolled it in, and came to the idea, should I wring out the peanut from his wife, should I start using it for daily trips to work? As a result, they also have to make excuses, appearance I can't say that it is beautiful. Beautiful Peugeot and Ferrari. Swift is rather original, and therefore noticeable. Someone will say that it is female, and here one can argue that there are a lot of purely masculine moments, dynamics, hard pedals, a sharp steering wheel, a high ceiling, I'm 184 centimeters tall, it's quite comfortable to sit, and there is a good margin above my head. And Swift owners, regardless of gender, have to deal with a generally dismissive attitude towards small cars on the road, because, according to many drivers, a blonde is most likely sitting behind the wheel of a small, which means a female car. So the idea sounds in many reviews that the Swift is a convenient car for the city, but it requires good driving skills and heavy traffic, otherwise they start to pinch. And many quite positive reviews end something like this, played around, now it's time to buy a normal car, or Swift is a car that you want to play around, ride it, try it, but not own it. However, there are also those whom the car suits completely and unconditionally, and they have their own reasons. Love number five, cabin volume. The Swift is a typical car that is significantly larger on the inside than on the outside. Indeed, a huge number of reviews talk about how they were struck by the unexpectedly voluminous interior for a typewriter of this size, the choice fell on the Swift. When we climbed into the cabin, I was just stunned, I felt comfortable in the back seat. Comma, there is enough space inside for a driver 187 centimeters tall, and another 10 centimeters above my head. I can sit behind me, although it's not very comfortable, but my wife, height 175 centimeters, is quite comfortable behind me, despite its modest dimensions, there is surprisingly enough space in the Swift. Four people with a height of 190 centimeters can safely sit down, five adults can fit in the cabin without any problems, the car is roomy, I drive shopping, a child, and long-legged girlfriends in it. 
and there are many such testimonials. Despite the diminutiveness of the body, the appearance still makes it possible to feel, maybe not in a new car, but at least not in an ancient car with an outdated design. And if Swift could be called truly comfortable, then there would be no price for it. Hate number four, noise, ride comfort, light. Alas, this model has certain problems with driving comfort. Firstly, the oak suspension creates discomfort tough, although very hardy. Comfort is clearly not enough. With two passengers sitting behind, the car sags, reducing the already small ground clearance. She meets even small bumps with obvious breakdowns, and sometimes with such blows that it seems that the wheel will burst into the cabin along with the shock absorber. The lack of comfort is especially felt on long hauls. Of course, you get tired for a long drive, but this is not a car for traveling. For a distance of 400 kilometers, it is enough. The seats, which are quite comfortable in the city and during relatively short trips, on long trips, they upset with insufficiently developed lumbar support, according to the owners, 300 to 400 kilometers of run and the back starts to hurt. The perception of comfort and noise in the cabin does not improve. It's a problem with the soundproofing of the cabin. You can hear how grains of sand hit the fender liner and metal parts of the wheel arches in a cheerful crowd. And you can accurately determine where each grain of sand hit. Well, tin. I thought and turned on the music. Music, by the way, in the car of average skull. Well, on good asphalt, the sound of the engine and wheel noise from under the arches simply fill the cabin at speeds over 100 kilometers slash h. The lack of acoustic comfort is especially acute for those who have Swift as a second car, complementing a premium brand sedan. There is no sound insulation like most Japanese cars of this class. Transplanting into Swift from the work of the German car industry, you feel it to the fullest. Finally, it reduces the level of driving comfort and not the best headlight. The headlights in the third generation Swift are unlensed, so the owner's right. In the fall, it turned out that the car was blind. With my diopters, sometimes I could not see the road at all. It's especially annoying on the track. Love number four, equipment. But it is not all that bad. In fact, quite often one of the factors that persuaded people to buy a Suzuki Swift was a very good, especially for its time and class, equipment. So the owners write in the reviews, as a result, they chose Swift 6 pillows, ABS slash EBD, everything is electric. In addition, 452,000 rubles included, as equipment features, alloy wheels, an automatic, more precisely, a robot, keyless start, music from mp3 a computer fog lights metallic paint leather steering wheel and gear lever music control on the steering wheel in short everything you need and even beyond that disadvantages of the configuration with a gun there are no rear power windows and climate control only air conditioning first of all i bribed the interior design for classmates everything is very simple and boring and here is a multifunction steering wheel and seven airbags and climate control of course this was written by the owner of the configuration with a 1.5 liter engine and hydromechanics the steering wheel and dashboard of the suzuki swift look much more expensive than those of classmates produced in the same years and the plastic although hard is of high quality and not squeaky but for some reason, owners, especially ladies, are most pleased with the presence of keyless access, a very convenient feature. You don't even need to pull the key fob out of your pocket and freeze your fingers in winter. Indeed, 8 to 10 years ago this option was new and rarely seen in the budget segment. And the owners are also pleased with the operation of the air conditioning system and the fact that the car is very warm, in some ways even too much. The stove in the car is a complete fly away just mega super stuff it heats up the interior very quickly completely icy glass blows as it should and after a couple of minutes you can go since we were talking about heating i'll remember the heated seats not that i have a dislike for this option in cars but i will say that here the engineers went a little too far with the heating temperature after five minutes you start to feel like you're sitting in a frying pan Many owners note that Swift easily endures even very severe frosts. When people run around in the parking lot, trying to light up each other, Swift starts up right away. 
In the cabin, after five to eight minutes it becomes warm, and under their envious glances we proudly leave the parking lot and go to work. There are, of course, certain complaints. For example, many people complain that the media device does not have USB and AUX inputs, they complain that the car could use a central armrest box, that the power windows have an automatic mode only for lowering, and that the management of the onboard computer is not organized in the most successful way. Well, who thought of placing the BC button in such a stupid place? Yes, and there are not too many modes of operation, it is turned off, the average and instantaneous consumption of gasoline, and that's it. Well, it's annoying to have to change the cabin filter at least once a season, otherwise the windows start to fog up desperately. But in general, all these shortcomings are mentioned precisely as trifles that do not spoil the overall picture. Hate number 3, Robotic Box on the Suzuki Swift with a 1.3 liter engine, it was a robotic box with a single plate clutch that was used as an automatic transmission. At their core, boxes of this kind are ordinary mechanics, but it is not the driver who depresses the clutch and shifts gears, but the electronics with the help of actuators. In theory, everything is simple, and such transmissions are successfully used on heavy trucks. But on cars, as it turned out, their operation is associated with a lot of inconvenience. The situation is aggravated by the fact that the version with a 1.3 liter engine, with which the robot was aggregated, accounted for the bulk of sales, buyers, and, above all, customers did not want to overpay for a more powerful 1.5 liter engine, but, and at the same time, they wanted to get the convenience of an automatic transmission in city traffic. As a result, opinions about this box turned out to be sharply polar. Someone swift with such a transmission turned out to be quite to their liking and liking, I like the robot. That is, yes, he sometimes shifts gears quite thoughtfully, he likes to save gasoline he drives, for example, 60 km slash h in 5th gear uphill, and he does not have a parking position. However, and this is the main thing, the robot is predictable, I got used to it after 50 kilometers and I know for sure what it will do next. Plus, you can shift gears by hand. However, many owners are very categorical in their reviews, the robot is simply disgusting, I do not recommend it to anyone. Even after turning off economy mode, it is dumb, and in economy mode it is dangerous. You start a maneuver, press down on the gas, but the car does not react. You were already late, you decided to refuse to overtake and then, she breaks down. Dancing with a tambourine in the form of programming does not give a tangible result. The clutch disc quickly fails in urban mode, one past 20, the other about 30,000 kilometers. Despite the fact that the replacement comes with a basket and clutch release, together with the work and the so-called programming, everything comes out at almost 20,000 rubles. And this despite the fact that adaptation, that is, the adjustment of the clutch operation must be done at each MOT, and this procedure costs 1,000 rubles. And even those who don't get teeth gnashing by the robot will admit that using these robotic boxes takes some getting used to. There are a few simple rules that you need to learn to follow. Do not tear from a stop. Work smoothly with gas. When stopping at traffic lights, do not put your foot on the brake but switch the gearbox to neutral, listen to the engine, and, as soon as you feel that a switch will soon follow, remove your foot from gas. Then the car will not twitch, and this is what causes the most irritation. But you must admit that this is very far from the convenience of using classical hydromechanics, which allows you to simply forget about the presence of such a thing as a transmission in a car. Love number three, dynamics and consumption. There are no complaints about the four-speed automatic transmission. On the contrary, in so many reviews, the work of this hydromechanical box paired with a 1.5 liter 4 is highly appreciated, although it would seem that at the end of the first decade of the 21st century, such a box should already look like an anachronism, the dynamics are excellent. Acceleration is equally good in any range. The machine is quite responsive. It's hard to call him stupid. In the first year, I didn't feel any changes at all. The car drives smoothly, only the speed was dropped, says one of the owners. We went on vacation to Galenzik. On the road the car behaved great. 
overtaking long vehicles was given to her without much effort. The machine easily dropped gears from fourth to second and turned the engine up to 6,000 RPM. Another echoes him. Swift generally pleases owners with good overclocking dynamics. The engine of more than 100 forces surprised with its liveliness. For its horses, it picks up speed quickly and accelerates easily, even if the car is loaded with four people. If we compare the Swift, for example, with the Opel Astro with its 115 horsepower and a turbine, then the baby will easily overtake him. There is even a sound at high speeds. Moreover, the owners are pleased with the Swift dynamics with both motors. It feels like a very playful machine. Despite 1.3 liters and a robotic box, it drives very fast. And it's all about the low weight of the curb car. The Swift has about a ton, while most of its rivals weigh at least 1.5 tons. In general, Suzuki's power supply is enough to feel very confident in city traffic and not experience any problems on the highway. To match the dynamics and handling, the owners unanimously note that the Swift does not prowl on straight lines even at high speed, and in turns it keeps the trajectory exactly, even if it hits bumps. He behaves well at speed, does not roam. I accelerated along the ring road to about 180 kilometers slash h according to GPS, the car is pressed into the canvas, and it goes very confidently. In so many reviews, it is mentioned that with its behavior, Swift provokes active and even aggressive driving. Regarding fuel consumption, as they say, the opinions of scientists are divided. Someone admires the fact that Swift does not eat gas, but sniffs it, and even in the city, on the highway it eats 5 to 6 liters, in the city, 7 to 8. I can't understand how you can burn 10 liters on it, what needs to be done there? And this kind of assessment applies not only to a 92 horsepower engine paired with mechanics or a robot, but also to a 102 horsepower engine with hydromechanics. I get 8 liters per 100 kilometers with active city driving and traffic jams. A very decent figure, considering that I can periodically give good gas, and sometimes I stick in traffic for hours, and keep in mind that an automatic almost always eats 1 liter more than a manual gearbox. Others, on the contrary, believe that Swift consumes unreasonably much fuel, with the advent of winter, a very unpleasant circumstance surfaced. It turned out that a car with air conditioning, lights on, heated mirrors and seats, with the engine warmed up, can eat 14.5 L slash 100 kilometers. For me, this circumstance was a kind of culture shock. Every time, refueling, I thought, where do you get so much into you? Naturally, the consumption is very dependent on the driving style, and the same figures can be assessed in different ways. If you feel sick 80 to 85, rolling up in some places, then you can put the consumption in 5 liters. Normal driving on the highway with maneuvers is about 7 liters. City 9.4 L slash 100 kilometers for a couple of thousand kilometers. I think for this flea with a 1.3 engine it's too much. And yet, there are much more reviews in which efficiency is indicated among the main advantages of the model, along with dynamics and controllability. Hate number two, ground clearance and flotation. And almost every review mentions insufficient ground clearance for our conditions. Indeed, the official specifications indicate that this figure is 140 millimeters, and this is not much. In fact, when the car is loaded, it becomes even smaller. All the bumps, curbs, hatches sticking out in the yards and parking lots are a potential danger multiplied by two, complains one of the owners, the author of a completely positive review in general. Run right behind the engine guard. It costs 1,000 to 1,500 rubles, but it will pay for itself tenfold, another warns. On the way back, instead of a normal asphalt road, there was an extremely broken primer. We decided to take a shortcut. Well, we deviated from the route. In total, about 50 kilometers of no road. For the first time, I realized that the clearance was really small. On the next bump, I tore off the front bumper from the mounts. The defense was constantly scraping the ground. By the way, for the author of this story, the trip ended with a visit to the service, because after hitting the ground, vibration began when the brake was pressed. Naturally, the lack of clearance is especially acute in the winter. Winter has come. Snow. 
problems began with the cleaning of roads by public utilities and my passage to the yard. I had to somehow dodge and get out of the rut in order to drive up the hill and not injure the bumper, which had already seen all sorts of relief elements. Indeed, the low-slung front bumper of the Swift is the most affected element of the design, and traces of its repair can be found on the vast majority of cars offered on the secondary market. Not only the front, but also the rear bumper can suffer from contact with the curbs, especially if the car is driven by an inexperienced driver. Visibility to the rear is limited, despite the jeeper-sized side mirrors, and this makes many think about installing parking sensors. However, many owners note that low cross-country ability and low clearance are rather internal sensations, since they have never had such a thing as not to pass where other cars pass. Here, for example, is such a testimony. In March of this year, I got into a Dodger rut with water and snow. Loaded with a crew of two, stuffed with supplies for the celebration of the birthday, he crawled, clinging to the ice, where he also hooked the Sandero stepway with his belly. Moreover, Swift has a couple of very real trump cards in terms of cross-country ability. Firstly, low weight, but in the case of the version with hydromechanics, there are also two driving modes in lower gears. If the car was buried in winter, I opened the door and pushed the car with my foot. The car, having received quite a bit of support, crawls out of any winter porridge. The resourceful owner shares his experience. Well, yes, we, Russians, are like that. We can make even a pampered European of Japanese origin, intended exclusively for urban life, crawl through the snow and mud. Love number two, reliability. The owners consider its reliability to be one of the main advantages of the Suzuki Swift. They say, people looking for a small car don't have to think too long, they need to take the Swift and be happy. It does not break, does not rust, the service is cheap, it consumes little fuel, but it performs its function 100%. In a huge number of reviews, you can find the phrase for all the years of ownership, there were no serious breakdowns, only scheduled maintenance. For such a simple car of the budget category, the reliability is simply phenomenal. We drove 75,000 without a single sneeze. We drove from Moscow to Athens and to Italy. We withstood it easily. Most importantly, this car is very reliable. For all the time of operation, no surprises, surprises and frills. Due to the need to go to her every day. The box is an ordinary automatic machine. It works great and, it seems, will last a very, very long time. For all the time, not a single breakdown. Even the light bulb burned out only one. Only two points are annoying. The need to tighten the clutch for maintenance and the frequent replacement of the cabin filter. Naturally, the car has characteristic sores and weaknesses. Among the characteristic problems that periodically arise are the failure of the camshaft sensor, the whistle of the alternator belt, which cannot be cured by simply adjusting and replacing the roller, and the failure of this unit itself, the need for frequent, almost every six months, replacement of the anti-roll bar struts. However, most often, listing what the owners had to face over the years of operation does not create the impression of a tendency to continuous breakdowns, rather, on the contrary. Yes, someone happened to change wheel bearings in five years, someone replaced ball bearings with a run of 120,000 kilometers, there are often references to repairing the steering rack. But, nevertheless, such a statement of the owner, in whose family, in addition to the Suzuki Swift, there is also a German sedan, is quite typical. I am more confident in the car than in my BMW 5 Series, which, in addition, is also a year younger. However, among the hundreds of reviews I came across two, the authors of which were seriously unlucky. In one of them, the engine block of the new car turned out to be cracked, and the replacement of the engine under warranty had to be beaten out with fights, and then wait several months for it to be brought. Well, another one came across some unsuccessful copy, you can't call exploitation a penny. There were somehow too many replacements and repairs starting from two sets of clutches, a generator, diagnostics and ending with front levers, a brake master cylinder, rear stabilizers and some other trifle. In short, with an input cost of about 400,000 rubles, about 100,000 more were invested in this creation. This is a lot. 
Indirect evidence that these cases are rather exceptions that confirm the rules is the fact that quite laudatory reviews about the car are left by those who have owned it for 10 to 12 years and are not going to get rid of it yet. Agree, 10 to 12 years of impeccable service for a Segment B machine should inspire a certain amount of respect. Hate number one, trunk space. Well, the owners of the Swift consider the main drawback to be the insufficient volume of the trunk for a family car, which, depending on the configuration, varies from 185 to 211 liters. Agree, tears. Of the major disadvantages, I will name, perhaps, only one, and it is quite predictable this is an insanely small trunk. Enough for store purchases, but it is no longer possible to transport a large suitcase, trunk, is that the glove box behind the back seat? You can carry a fire extinguisher and small things like a compressor and a first aid kit in it and put the contents of a cart from the supermarket there. There seems to be a trunk, but because of the angle of the back door, nothing really fits in there, only flat things. It turns out that in a five seat configuration, the Swift is suitable for city life. In any case, for bags from the supermarket fit in the trunk, albeit with difficulty. Young mothers are most upset that even a folding stroller does not fit categorically in the luggage compartment and they have to be shoved into the cabin and the trips of a young family on vacation turn out to be associated with serious problems. The three of us, with a small child, went to the Comey Republic 2500 KM one way. For the first time, I realized that the trunk was too small, even taking into account the fact that I had to leave the stroller at home. The situation is somewhat improved by the fact that in the trunk under the raised floor there is an organizer for all sorts of little things, where a pump, first aid kit, fire extinguisher, and car chemicals are placed, and the spare wheel is placed even lower. Naturally, you can fold the rear seat backs, and the amount of luggage available for accommodation will increase in the most radical way. I happen to carry a small sofa from a furniture store, Parquet. 200 kilograms of paint and building sand to the country, though very carefully, says one of the reviews. In general, many owners agreed that if there were more trunk, this car would not have a price. Love number one, maneuverability and dimensions. Yes, many of the shortcomings of the Suzuki Swift are due to its small size. But they also determine its merits, and the authors of the reviews consider maneuverability and ease of use in a big city to be the main one. Indeed, it is easier for such a kid to turn around on the road, in the yard, in the gateway. Even with little experience, you can climb almost anywhere. Parking at the house turned into fun, as we parked in half places, now remember exactly your yards, where cars always leave a couple of meters worthless for parking, and which only gets with pizza delivery and U.S. can park. The issue of parking is almost completely resolved. My wife was not afraid to park, because the tweeters signaled an obstacle from behind, and in front the hood is so small that, if there was no windshield, one could reach another car with an outstretched hand, in the yards crowded with cars, we always leave car no further than two entrances from your own. People will never park their focuses in such places where Swift will fit elementary sizes will not allow. Nowadays, when the search for a parking space in large cities is turning into a serious problem, sneakily allows you to forgive the baby for all his shortcomings and the inconveniences associated with them, at least for those who value their nerves and time above prestige. However, all the same applies to almost any hatchback of the B-Class now dying out in Russia.